Hey, my brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Wendy. <clears throat> hope everyone's having a wonderful day. And our mighty God, Jehovah, our Holy Father, His Holy Son, King Yeshua HaMashiach, and the beautiful Holy Spirit, our God who leads us and guides us every day, every moment, our God who holds our every breath, our very next breath, he has in his hands. Okay, today I will be reading again Zechariah, but this time I'll be reading a different portion, and it will be Zechariah 14, 1 through 12. But first, I'm going to um, describe a, another vision that the Father gave me to give to his children. Okay. I received this vision this morning on 2 November 2015 while I was in prayer this morning. This was a very audible vision for I heard it more than I saw. I first saw a table and it was a short brown table but it had the look of a courtroom table. And later on, the Holy Spirit told me that this is the man's judgment table, not God's judgment table. Then I saw an older gentleman and a very young woman at the table. The gentleman was trying to get the young woman to not take the mark of the beast. Then the woman said that he couldn't tell her what to do, for she was being enticed by what I am not sure. Then I heard the gentleman tell whoever was at the other end of the table I did not see that he believes in the Lord Jesus Christ and that he will never take Satan's mark of the beast. Then I heard someone say, Off with his head, and they took him down an awful looking basement. And that's the vision that the Father gave me this morning. And the scripture that goes along with this is Revelation 13, 15 through 18. He was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. So today, uh, as I said, I will also be reading Zechariah 14 verses 1 through 12 so here I go behold the day of the Lord cometh and thy spoils shall be divided in the midst of thee for I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle and the city shall be taken and the houses rifled and the women ravished and half of the city shall go forth into captivity and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of battle. And his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east. And the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof toward the east and toward the west. And there shall be a very great valley, and half of the mountain shall remove toward the north and half of it toward the south. And ye shall flee to the valley of the mountains, for the valley of the mountains shall reach unto Azal. Yea, ye shall flee, like as ye fled from before the earthquake in the days of Uzziah king of Judah. And the Lord my God shall come, and all the saints with thee. And it shall come to pass in that day, that the light shall not be clear nor dark, but it shall be one day which shall be known to the Lord. Not day nor night, but it shall come to pass, that at even time it shall be light. 
And it shall be in that day that living waters shall go out from Jerusalem, half of them toward the former sea, and half of them toward the hinder sea. In summer and in winter shall it be. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall there be one Lord, and his name one. All the land shall be turned as a plain from Geba to Ramon, south of Jerusalem, and it shall be lifted up and inhabited in her place from Benjamin's gate unto the place of the first gate and to the corner gate and from the tower of Hananel unto the king's wine presses and men shall dwell in it and there shall be no more utter destruction but Jerusalem shall be safely inhabited and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Let us praise our wonderful and mighty God. Our mighty Father Yahweh, thank you for your holy word. Thank you for your warning, your son's warning of everything that's coming. To the inhabitants of this land saith your word O oh, Father I pray that you have mercy your mercy endureth forever I pray that you have mercy upon this land I pray that hearts will turn toward your precious son and they will bow down to King Yeshua and they will worship and praise him as he is worthy to be praised I love you Father thank you for your warning in this word that you're about to that I'm about to read from you thank you for caring and loving your people your children your creation I love you so much thank you for the vision warning the people about the mark of the beast that everyone needs to put their faith in your precious son King Yeshua HaMashiach I love you and I worship you in King Yeshua's precious name Amen and Amen I received this word from the Father um, 1 November 2015 at 10.47 p.m. Daughter of Zion Write God the Father's words down for all of his children to hear. Do not wonder what is happening when I rain down my pillars of fire and smoke, for it has been spoken in my word for my children to read. The day of the Lord comes with a mighty vengeance to all the inhabitants on earth. The mighty men and the kings of the earth shall tremble and flee from the mountains, crumbling down around them from the sound of my voice. For there will be much anguish and pain for the unrighteous who walk this earth with my righteous saints. However, my faithful and holy saints shall be protected and hidden in my very bosom. Cry aloud, ye inhabitants of the earth, who is there to hear but the Almighty? Have you heard my son pleading with all of his children to come to, to, come to him before my wrath begins? Have you seen how my only begotten son's heart grieves for you? Do you know what my son went through for you, my stiff-necked and hard-hearted children? God the Father walked with my son, and whoever rejected him rejected me as well. You will bow down to my son when you feel the sting of the Father. Ye inhabitants of the earth, look at my first covenant people. They are being attacked. 
do you not think that the time in my holy word is coming rapidly? I say to you, prepare, ye stiff-necked and ungodly generation. Your playtime is over. God the Father, Yahweh.